Hi, I'm Dale Derry. I'm a Canon professional and a photography instructor at PCCI, and this is Canon Digital Masterclass Series. This is a free online workshop, and I am encouraging you to give back and help those people who are working the hardest during this time. And you can do this through Paymaya. All the links and information will be included in the caption for your easy reference. By the way, this is a pre-recorded video, but I'll be watching with you and I'll be joining you in the comments section. So, kung may question kayo, just put it in the comments section and I will try to answer them. I guess I'm lucky to have a father who's a photographer. He's been my influence in photography. Uh, he's also been a long-time uh, Canon user. Uh, I've been using Canon since, I think, 2008. Uh, what I like about it is the simplicity of its menu and interface. Kasi pinakamahirap yung... Meron kang equipment, ganda, pero mahirap pag-aralan. Mangyayari nun, ano, tatama rin ka lang uh, gamitin. I discovered uh, my passion in teaching through photography. So, sabi nga nila, you don't know where things will lead you. Basta... Naputa sa photography, and I'm very grateful. And then because of it, I'm able to share my knowledge through uh, teaching at uh, PCCI. Pata pa ako, I've already seen my dad demonstrate light, light painting, okay, which is our topic for today. What I enjoy about light painting is, basta matsaga ka, basta creative ka, there's a whole lot of possibilities in terms of effects that you can achieve even without uh, post production or post processing. Right. So let's start. This period has given us so much time to be with our family that I thought. Light painting would be a perfect activity for kids to kill time instead of kill each other. And also for family members to work together and learn together and experiment with photography. But first things first, what is photography? Photography comes from the words photos or phos, which means light, and graphos or graphe, which means to draw. So the word photography literally means drawing or painting with light. And every time you take a photo, light plays a huge role. Here's something for you to remember. Where there's light, there's an image. Next, ano nga ba yung aperture, shutter speed, and ISO? Having an idea of how they work together will help you in deciding on your settings later on. So let's get to it. Imagine a container with a piece of paper inside. Above it, some sort of cover. Then a hole in the container, and it's raining. Your goal is to wet the paper by opening the cover just long enough so that the paper gets saturated with water without the paper turning into a mulch. If the hole is big, you'd only need to open the cover for a short amount of time. If the hole is small, then you'd have to leave the cover open for a longer time. Your camera works in a similar way. The paper would be your sensor, the cover would be your shutter, and the hole would be your aperture. Think of rain as light entering your camera. Your aperture and your shutter speed have to balance each other in terms of how much light will reach the sensor so that you get the correct amount of light or the correct brightness in your picture or what we call a correctly exposed photograph. Paano na yung ISO? Imagine the same scenario but with different materials. A cardboard, bond paper, and toilet paper. If the cover is open for the same amount of time for all three materials, letting in the same amount of rain, your toilet paper would be drenched the most and probably already breaking, followed by the bond paper, and finally, the cardboard. Think of these different materials as your ISO settings. The cardboard would be like your low ISO setting, for example, ISO 100, which is not sensitive to light, but your images will not be noisy. Low ISO is good for shooting under very bright lighting conditions. The toilet paper would be your high ISO setting, for example, ISO 800. High ISO setting is sensitive to light, meaning it's quick to pick up light, which lets you use a faster shutter speed compared to if you were using a low ISO setting. However, 
pwedeng maging noisy yung pictures mo if you're using a high ISO setting. But generally speaking, regardless of what ISO setting you're using, if you're already using a slow shutter speed, then you need the help of a tripod to keep your camera stable para you don't get pictures that are blurred due to camera shape. So how do aperture, shutter speed, and ISO work together? Let's say it's very bright outside. I'd most probably use a low ISO because number one, the lighting conditions already very bright. Number two, I don't want any noise in my photo. Next, if I'm shooting for a shallow depth of field, I'd use a big aperture. And to balance the amount of light entering that big opening, I would use a fast shutter speed. If I'm shooting for a deep depth of field, I'd use a small aperture and then a slow shutter speed. Now let's say we're shooting under poor lighting conditions, such as in a museum. If I use low ISO, which does not easily pick up light, I would probably have to slow down my shutter speed, and this may result in blur due to camera shape. So you can use low ISO setting under low light conditions. Pero malamang, you will need the help of a tripod to keep your camera steady. But in places like in a museum, pwede mag-shoot, pero bawal lang flash, and bawal din ang tripod. So in these cases, it's best to use a high ISO setting so that you can use a faster shutter speed. So ano naman yung scenario sa light painting? You're shooting in a dark area, and you need time to light your subject. As a starting point, I'd use a low ISO setting to balance the very slow shutter speed that I will be using. And then a small aperture to compensate for that very slow shutter speed. So, relax. If you don't understand it yet, it's okay. Ang importante lang, at this point, you have an idea of how aperture, shutter speed, and ISO work together. Right now, it's light painting time. Apart from your subject and being in a dark area, here are some of the things that you will need for a basic light painting project. A tripod. Magic! <laughs> <laughs> Flashlight. A dark cardboard. And for this project, I'm using my Canon M5, which is a mirrorless camera and it's kit lens 15 to 45 mm. It's a small and light camera, but it's powerful enough to deliver the photos that you need. As you explore further, you might need a dark background or a long sleeve shirt na black uh, para to yung parts ng skin. I mo mag register sa image mo. And here's something to get you started with light painting. Step one, conceptualize. Visualize how you want your image to look like. You can go as far as roughly illustrating your concept, indicating where the light and shadows will be. Step 2. Prepare what you need. Just like when you're cooking, you want to have everything ready and within reach. Step 3. Set up, compose, and get the correct exposure. Set up your subject and frame it well. Turn off the room lights, like your subject, and take a reading in manual exposure mode as you would if you were shooting normally. You're only after getting an idea of how much time you need to illuminate your subject. So just take note of the shutter speed the camera gives you. For example, if you get a correct exposure of ISO 100, f11, and 5 seconds, that means you need to light paint the area that you metered for 5 seconds. If you're completely new to photography, don't worry about the numbers too much. I'll give you a starting point in the next step. Step 4. Prepare your camera and focus settings. Make sure you're in manual exposure mode. Just as a starting point, you can use ISO 100, F11, and 30 seconds. Pre-focus in autofocus mode. Once focused, switch to manual focus mode. Remember, you'll be shooting in the dark. So leaving your focus mode to AF may make it difficult for your camera to focus and it probably will not shoot at all. Step 5. Turn off the room lights and light paint away. Press that shutter release button and start light painting your subject. Illuminate your subject according to the time it needs. If you're done with your light painting before 30 seconds, simply cover your lens with a dark cardboard so it doesn't admit any more light. Take note that every light source has a different intensity. So if after your first shot, underexposed shot, 
then you might need to expose or light paint some more on that area. It just needs more time. Or another option is for you to open up your aperture. So for example, you started at f11, then you can simply open it up to f5.6. But just know that changing your aperture will also change your depth of field. Should you need longer than 30 seconds, use the bulb setting. In bulb, your shutter remains open as long as your finger is pressing the shutter release button, unless you have a shutter remote. You can do special effects by simply light painting only on areas you want to register in your photo, by moving your subject in between light painting and then painting it again in its new position. Remember, where there's light, there's an image. You can also use motion blur as part of your concept. Simply move your subject or even your camera while you're light painting. Because you're shooting with a very slow shutter speed, you can also create light trails. Later on, you might be experimenting with using continuous light source and flash. Flash is perfect for freezing moving subjects or subjects that cannot stay still. For example, your sibling or your kids. Continuous light sources are perfect for subjects that are still or if you want to create motion blur in your photo. Okay, so let's look at this picture. So the first one, so ang sinispell dyan is the finger spelling or sign language for love. Okay, yung word na love. L-O-V-E. And for every letter, nagbubuga ng flash. Okay, so kaya L, flash. Tapos, so madilim na ulit. O, V, and then E. Okay, and you'll notice na hindi siya blurred. Okay, but here on the second picture, flashlight lang yung ginamit. And I think uh, we were exposing it for, ano lang ah, 5 seconds per letter. And my husband's uh, hand is fairly steady. But uh, still, you see um, some shake, okay? some blur in the image. Now, if you're just viewing it uh, in your LCD, malit lang. You won't notice the uh, blur unless you zoom it in. Okay? And yes, pwedeng gamitin yung flash ng smartphone camera mo. Just know that phone flashes emit continuous light for a few seconds before the flash fires. So this continuous light may cause blur in your image if your subject is moving. Light painting can also be applied in commercial photography. For instance, pwede siya sa architectural and interiors photography. Pwede rin siya sa food photography or product photography. In fact, I've seen some wedding photographers use light painting as part of their images to add wow factor in their portfolio. I usually end my classes with this saying from actor, director, and writer Orson Welles. He said, Now, I have an exercise for you, okay? Hindi naman graded, okay? Just think of a theme since may ilang araw pa tayo during this uh, ECQ. Think of a theme, okay? So, pwedeng word lang, okay? Kuha kang libro, Random quote ng word. Pwede in quotation if you have a favorite uh, quote uh, or maybe a movie title. Tapos illustrate mo how you would envision your uh, final image. Okay, how would it look like? Okay, and then execute it. 
using light painting. Okay. And then if you feel like sharing your ECQ light painting projects here, just go right ahead and then put them in the comment section. All right. I usually end my classes with this saying from actor, director, and writer Orson Welles. He said, the enemy of art is the absence of limitations. That's it for now and I hope this session has inspired you to learn more about photography and to do some experiment with your family. If you enjoyed watching this video, please share this to your friends who might also be interested in photography. We would really appreciate it if you could send help to our frontliners who are working tirelessly to keep all of us safe. Once again, thank you for joining this Canon Masterclass session today. To all our frontliners, a huge thank you and a big salute. With you, we are one against COVID. Friends, stay home, stay safe. I'll see you next time. Kita ba dito ka? No. Kita ba ta? Focus na ka? Hmm. Naka-focus na ka? Hmm. You have press? Hmm. Apart from your subject and being in a dark area, here are some of the things that you will need for a basic light painting project. A tripod. Ta-da! <laughs> Magic! Ta-da! <laughs> okay. Bye bye! Bye bye! Tick tock na, tick tock! Ayun yung naka-record?